Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video, we are going to solve the questions in the fifth module of KTU Engineering Graphics University examination that was held on 16th July 2021. The problem from perspective is like this. We have a rectangular box 50 by 30 by 25. 50 by 30 by 25 lies on the ground on the largest rectangular face which is the largest rectangular face it is 50 30 okay with one vertical edge on pp touching pp agreed the larger face or the rectangular face containing the longer edge that is 50 makes 30 degrees to pp that is the question the position of the station point is given as 45 mm in front of PP, 55 mm above GP and the central plane passes through center of the box. That's the question. First of all, I draw picture plane. I draw picture plane. I'm taking a point on picture plane. I draw a 30 degree line of 50 mm length and complete a rectangle 50 by 30. Complete a rectangle 50 by 30. This side is 30 degrees. Then, I draw the center, locate the center and draw the central plane. On the center plane, 45 mm in front, 45. I locate SP, station point. Locate SP, station point. Then I draw HL anywhere. I draw HL anywhere and GL, GL, ground line. This is horizon line, this is ground line. Ground line, 55 mm below HL. What is the significance of 55? HLGL height is the height of the observer or HLGL height is equal to the location of the eye of the observer with respect to the ground. It is given as 55. So 55 mm below HL I have located GL. So the basic drawing is over. Now you have to find the vanishing point. Of this can be drawn by two methods you know. One is called the vanishing point method and the other is called the visual ray method. In such a question vanishing point method will be preferable because the station point is right below or right in front of the center of the object. In such cases, vanishing point method will be easier. Okay, there are other variables also that decide that. Okay, now I have to locate the vanishing point of side AB. For that, I draw a line through SP parallel to AB and cut picture plane at V1. Drop it down to HL, I get capital V1. What is capital V1? Capital V1 is the vanishing point of capital V1 is the vanishing point of AB and all lines parallel to AB. Capital V1 is the vanishing point of AB and all lines parallel to AB. What are the other lines parallel to AB? One is EF, one is CD and the other is GH. So for all those four lines, V1 is the vanishing point. Similarly, I draw a line through SP parallel to parallel to AD. I get V2, small V2, drop it down to HL. I get capital V2 and the capital V2 is the vanishing point of Capital V2 is the vanishing point of AD and all other lines parallel to AD. What are the other lines parallel to AD? One is EH on the top, BC at the bottom, FG on the top. There are four lines in this level. That is three more lines parallel to AD. Okay. Now, I join all points of the plan of the object to the station point by very light lines. I get intercepts. These are intercepts. Now, I drop AE down. AE is on picture plane now. AE is on picture plane. So I drop AE down and locate capital A on GL. You know that a point 
a point which lies on the bitch plane as well as the ground will have its perspective on GL. So A is a point which is lying lying on the ground as well as pitch a plane. So if you drop it down, I get capital A. Capital A is what? The perspective view of the point A, corner A. Now, the height of the box is 25. The dimension is 50, 35, uh, 30, 25. So I measure 25 up and locate E. 25 up. Agreed? Then I connect A and E I connect A and E to both vanishing points. Which are the vanishing point? One is this. And one is this. The other vanishing point is in this direction, this one. I connect A and E to V1 and V2. Very light lines. Now I drop this point intercept of bf now i get b i get f drop the intercept of dh now i get d i get h now i join d and h to that vanishing point or i can use b and f to this vanishing point that is easier i join b and f to this vanishing point Onto that, I drop the intercept of CG. This is C, this is G. You have got all the all the eight points A, B, C, D at the bottom, A, E, F, G, H on the top. Now you can connect them. <coughs> Since I am not using correct instruments, there can be slight changes. There can be slight changes in the location of the points. Now what? This will be dotted. This will be dotted. And this will be dotted. Completed. Completed. Now, the box is 25 mm tall and the observer is 55 mm tall. The box is 25 mm tall and the observer is 55 mm tall. The observer will always see the top. Top is called EFGH. EFGH firm. Now, A E is nearer to you. Firm. BF is on the right side. Right boundary. Firm. DH is the left boundary. Firm. The corner C is far away from the observer, behind the object, so CB, CD and CG are invisible and hence dotted. The far away corner C is not visible, so the line, three lines leading to C are dotted. It's the a, it's a simplest question that can come. This is 24. This is the simplest question that can come from perspective and this is available in all textbooks. Uh, in all, 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 all textbooks. This is present in all textbooks with slight changes in dimensions. Now you can see that almost all questions in this question paper are available in my channel. Almost all. The same very similar question is the first question worked out in my channel. Perspective 1. 
perspective one almost all problems in this question paper are available in my channel you can go through them if you want to further improve your understanding okay we are coming to the last problem in the fifth module of the question paper it's a block given in the question with the help of an isometric view isometric view of a block is given you are asked to draw the plan elevation and one side view this is the elevation the direction of the elevation is given this is the plan r 7.5 circle r 15 this radial arc half circle 15 mm away 18 mm away another part and this is a rib like thing supporting like rib like thing plan elevation and end view it's not a complicated object appears to be simple object you have to visualize the object visualize the object from the isometric view you have to visualize the object and draw these three views all dimensions are marked all dimensions are marked in the three views plan elevation and end view you may have to name them also end view Friend view. Top view. My spacing is not correct. Could have brought it further down. Because of the limitation of the camera, I have lifted it up. Okay. Thank you. If you are impressed with this uh, answers and the presentation please subscribe my channel share it and like it please give it to the upcoming batches who have got engineering graphics i request your support in promoting this channel i am as i mentioned in the beginning you may be knowing me i am dr vinod kumar a retired professor from qsat i have got 40 years of experience in teaching engineering graphics i have retired from my service and i am giving whatever i have learned for the students community uh, i have I, I was made a teacher by my students so i am paying them back i am giving them back all that i have learned please help me to promote my channel okay thank you